particles. There is uh, immune suppression or dysregulation, deregulation, HIV, and malaria. These are their research needs identified. And this is a tremendous resource for this whole subject. Uh, uh, it's Biological Agents, Volume 100B, a review of human carcinogens. Um, uh, there's a real need to keep these people well funded and also hold their hold our feet hold, hold our government's feet to the fire on this. Um, here's a couple of sites for you, and that's my last slide. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? It's overwhelming, isn't it? Yes. There's so much, so much. In fact, in one of these uh, uh, scientific meetings, uh, there was a, 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 a lead, lead researcher who was trying to convince everybody his serum was safe and that they should mass produce and market it. He said, look, I'm going to inject my grandchildren with it. He injected his granddaughter and his grandson. They both died within three days. And here's another thing. The high incidence of childhood cancer and autism. Yeah. There are all kinds of diseases. I believe they're directly related to the vaccines that they. Uh, we don't know what's in them. You have to know what's in your vaccines. Yes, yes. absolutely. Any any vaccine from a red meat animal, like a like a cow or a, a horse or a, a monkey, I'd be really suspicious of. Really suspicious, and even a pig. Uh, but. Uh, uh, you know, they, they cultivate them in eggs. You know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of vaccines. But there's others that they still use in animal products. How close is our government looking at these vaccines and checking into them? What they need is a public watchdog like myself Hi. saying, show me the evidence. Show me what's in that now. Yeah. It's, you know, the, the federal government called a meeting they called a meeting in Vancouver, and they only invited, they, they brought the whole staff from the Human Health and, and Agriculture Department at, to put on presentations. And they only invited seven people to it. I was one of them. The top environmentalists in Vancouver, the ship disturbers, basically. And, uh, and they, they were telling us how wonderful that this, these beehive burners they had, where they were recycling waste and turning it into energy for the community. And I said, well, do these things produce dioxins? And the guy I asked the question, he looked over at his supervisor and said, can I tell him? And the guy looked, he had nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He said, yeah, you can tell him. Yes, they do produce dioxins. So we're, we're spreading dioxins all over the agriculture of the lower mainland. Yes, basically. <laughs> there you have it. Anyway, thank you very much, and I'll give you a minute.